Hello and welcome back to the madness. So, me and hubby went to Sam's Club and he made me buy these. Can you believe it? So, um, we were going down each aisle because we haven't been there in a while. And he was like, oh, look, color pencils. And I'm like, oh, yeah. He goes, get them. Okay. If you're going to tell me to get them, I'll get them. It's 100 pencils for $9.98. And he knows that I'm trying out different pencils and markers and stuff. And then we saw, oops, yeah, that just dropped. Oh, how about if I turn it on the side? Then we saw this. And I was like, oh, I really want to get this. Um, Miss Coffee has it. And these were $15.91. So let's open it up and check it out. I know Miss Coffee's is bigger, but I wanted to get this one, see if I like it. And then if I do, well, then I will get the big tower that she got. And I figured if I don't like these, I can always take these out and use this carousel for something else. I really do love the carousel. Okay, so. Ooh. Oh, I like these. Okay, so. Let's get a pad of paper and try them out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh, wait a minute. Really? Are some different? What color did I do? Are they all the same tip? Because I thought, okay, they're very hard. Okay, why did I think that it was a big tip? Okay, I wasn't going crazy. Some are this tip. Yeah, I just totally misspelled my own name. How funny is that? I like how they write. And then we have the fine tip. Well, I don't like how, I don't know if it's the paper or if it's the pen. If it was the pen. Hmm. I don't know. I think it was the paper. Okay. So how can you tell if one is one side size and one's the other? Let's put on the glasses. Fine point, fine point, seriously, that is just crazy. Oh, it says ultra fine point and, oh, dropped it, and fine point. So it says ultra and it says fine. So. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Now they're next to each other. I don't know if I like that. Okay, Bobo, you really need to stop that. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Do you love the colors of it, though? Okay. Let's see, fine point. Well, let's see how this paper works with markers. Did it bleed through? Mm, yeah, it bleeds through a little, but that's okay. Okay, so, 
I don't know if I'll be using these. I don't like how they, um, here, let's see. Here's a coloring page. Because I don't know if it was the, do I want to mess this one up? I really don't want to mess this one up. Because this is colored pencils. So, bear with me for a second, folks. Let's go into here and get a page out of here. Okay, I wasn't prepared. Sorry. I want to get one that is like <sighs> seriously. Bobo, please. Okay, here. This one's a good one. It's grayscale, but it's not like dark grayscale, and that was the whole problem that I was having with that. And we'll put that back on in a little bit. Okay. So, let's test these out. Why not? Okay, so this should be... Fine point and ultra fine. Okay, so we are going to do her dress. Now, don't mind my coloring skills because, yeah. And I like to outline... Okay, I do like how they put the color down. I do like that. Okay, so now let's try the ultra for these really teeny, teeny. Oh, I really like how the color goes down. Yeah, I guess that's what I would do. So I would take the ultra and do my outlines, but then I'm just worry. about, now let's see if we go in with this then. Are these the same color? They look the same, but I don't know. like the ultra to go when I'm doing my outline you know why because this is such a fat tip that I can't see what I'm doing but the ultra tip I can just like real lightly get in there put a little dot and then if I have to add another little dot I can see how I'm doing that I actually just put like a dot can you see what I'm doing here get in here see I I do like a I actually just do little dots when I do it but I I move my hand doing little dots if that makes sense that's how I do the outline with markers that's how I've always done it and that way it doesn't really bleed through okay so then I'm gonna go this way now, if it's like the, no, I still do like little dotty brush strokes. Oh, I'm just realizing something. Never really paid attention, but that's how I do it. When you have to talk and tell people what you're doing, then you're like, wow, that's what I do. Wow. Never noticed it, but having to explain it, I see what I'm doing. Okay, so. I'm thinking it kind of goes like that, right? Okay. And I love that the caps fit on the end. That is, like, really awesome. And 
And then I find I do a mixture of circles and then I'll go up and down and then circles and then up and down. For some reason I can never be consistent. It's just how I color. And then I'm kind of even doing dots there. That's just weird. I color strange, if you ask me. Okay, now this is where I'm confused. I want to say this is part of a dress. Okay, do a little dot there. Right, we're just going to call that dress too. Because I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Wow, I think that looks really cool. Okay, I'm sold. I like these. Yep. Um, I will actually finish this page tonight. You will see this on my Instagram. Um, but you won't see this video for a while. So by the time you see this, you'll see this. Okay. I like the carousel. Okay, I can see I'm going to be buying the bigger set because, uh, yes, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm putting this over here because I will be finishing that tonight for sure. Okay. I don't want to bump you. So let's get into these. The colored pencils. Okay. So. I don't know if they're in a tray or what. So. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I'm liking it. Oh, it's doubled. Well, of course, it's 100, so it would be 50 and 50. Ooh, I'm loving the colors. Okay, so get our book out that, you know, our wonderful book that we've been playing in. And I even already wrote the name. Okay, so let's do this color. This color. In this color okay let's see oh I like how smooth they are already for sure meaning I like how the pigment is going on the page look at me use these fancy words Bobo just felt the need to snort, but he did. Okay, now let's bring this over this and over that. Oh, wow. I am loving the shading. Mmm. Yeah. It makes me want to just, oh yeah, I'm liking it. Oh yeah. Okay, these are a winner. These are a hundred pencils for what? 10 bucks? Let's just call it 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many colors. There are so many colors. And I actually like how you can just pull it in and out easily. I'm a simple girl. Okay, guys. So, wow. So, what was that? The... The Sharpies were what? I think 16 bucks. Okay, the Sharpies were 16. These were 10. Right? Yes. 9.98 and 15.91, so we'll call it uh 26 bucks. 
well, you have to have a Sam's membership too. But 26 bucks gets you a coloring book, which you can find you can find cheap ones on Amazon that are like five dollars. Um, I know for sure. Here, let me just okay. Let's just let's just do some research here. Um yeah. So was it this one? No, that one's ten bucks. Okay, but let's say ten bucks, because your coloring books are anywhere from five to ten bucks. Well, this artist, I know for sure was five to 10 bucks that I bought her books. Here, I'll just show you one here because you can't really see that. So, I still have to flip through these for you. So you get 50 coloring page, but only 25 of the same, of different images. Cause you have two image of each, two pages of each image. That's what I was trying to say. So, the color pencils and the markers, 26 bucks. Add a coloring book, 36 bucks. You could take one for the colored pencils, one for the markers, and you have 50 pages you could color. You could start coloring cheaply. I don't think that's, I mean, what, the Prismas alone were almost 40 bucks. And that wasn't including a coloring book, and it was less colors, too. You have 100 here, and you have 48 markers. I really like that Johnny made me buy this. Okay, so, I mean, I'm just trying to give you cheaper ideals, too. That, and, okay, let's just take these three colored pencils right here. Prismas. I'm not a fan of yet. No, I... Still have an open mind, but I feel like I would go to these two so far. Now, in the next unboxing, we are going to go into the art flies. These are oil base. These are, um, oh shoot, now I forgot what these were. You have oil base markers, and then you have not markers. Color pencils. You have oil base and then you have. Hmm. Why is it not coming to me? Johnny, what are the other. The color pencils you have oil base or you have. Not crayon base. What is it? There's watercolor, oil base. No. Oh my gosh. It is going to. No. Hmm. Normal. <laughs> I can't think of what I. It's it's right there, but I cannot pull it out of my memory bank. Bank, and it doesn't say what it is on the box because me and Miss Coffee were talking about it. And I'm like, and she's the one who said, and they're blah blah base. And I'm like, oh yeah, that would make sense. But do you think it would come to me now? No. Yeah. So. It's gonna drive me up a wall. Oh. Okay, Laura or Miss Coffee, tell me what kind of base this is. Cause it is going to drive me up a wall. But the next ones we're gonna go into, let's do it right now. No, let's wait. We'll wait. Cause I want it to be a separate video. Paint based? Watercolor base. It's watercolor pencils, watercolor pencils, which is really cool. When you use them, like John here, you see how you put it there? And if you take a paintbrush with water, it turns it into paint, basically. It's really cool. Yeah, I didn't know that there was a such thing, and I bought the. When I first started coloring, I went to Amazon and bought Arteza 
pencils and I bought the watercolor pencils and then I was watching someone's live and they were like there's watercolor pencils and then there's blah blah pencils which I can't think of what it's called and I was like I pulled out my Artezas and I was like oh I, I got the watercolored pencils so then I went and ran out and bought the regular ones and then I did the whole thing and I think I showed you guys that where I was testing what Gamma Saw would do with regular pencils, color pencils and watercolor pencils and it basically was the same thing. So, yeah. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the madness and the ramble and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Okay, I had to come on and um because i was getting ready and i'm like oil and i remembered these are wax base colored pencils and we are next going to see the oil base colored pencils so i'm sorry it just drove me crazy and it was probably driving some of you crazy so i just wanted to make sure that i came on and said that it was wax base oil base and watercolor base okay guys now you may leave the video or you already left it in hey that's fine too bye guys